Hi, and welcome to Exploring Creativity, episode 30. I'm Rachel Gordon. Today, I want to talk a little bit about, um, well, today, I went to see the documentary Ava Hess about the artist, well, the artist Ava Hess, and if you don't know about her, you should definitely look her up. Amazing work, and she had such an influence on um, not only the New York art scene, but the entire, like, art movement of the second half of the 21st century and continuing to have have influence really amazing innovative stuff so she was she sadly passed away in 1970 at age 34 but from 1960 to 1970 she was amazingly prolific I and mean, she was just driven she and, and as every year passed she just became more clear about it who she was, what she wanted to put in the world, and what she was exploring, and different materials, and different ways of, of putting it out. And um, one of the artists that was interviewed, Robert Mangold, um, he talked about that. He said in she, there was a retrospective of her work at the Guggenheim, and it took up the entire museum. And he said, if you had, if when I, when he had a five year re retrospective of his work, it took up one circle around <laughs> the Guggenheim and a basically five year retrospective of her work, which is like when she did the bulk of her work from like 65 to 70, took up the entire museum. And he, um, he said, so, you know, like, we think it's not possible, but it is possible. And so I'm, I'm just going to be pondering that because I know I'm totally guilty of just thinking it's not possible. Like, you know, that I have limited time and I have this to do and I have that to do. And I, the alarm goes off in the morning and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I could get up and do my work or I could get another hour or two of sleep. And... Um, way too often that voice still gets the upper hand um, but I, I, I think that's kind of the bottom line we, we really do probably all have what it takes to be prolific we just have to get ourselves to do it however that drive comes for you um, whether it comes from the inside, whether it comes from the outside, whether like you make a deadline, whether you just like um, set a schedule that you're determined about. Um, I think we all have things inside ourselves that we need to put out in the world and this is our time. This is our time. and. That's not to say, like, be hard on yourself if you don't, because, you know, next year also is your time. Five years from now is your time. It happens when it's the right time, and I think for her, it was the right time, and, and there was such a confluence of different things that made it her time. Um, maybe the confluence hasn't come yet for you or for me, but... Unless we're like actively at least taking the steps to do the work, we're gonna miss the miss the river as it comes. So one of the things that Saul Lewitt, another artist, a contemporary of Ava Hess's, who was incredibly supportive and encouraging and she to him and really she had an incredible influence on her work and his work which I'll talk about it another time because there's a huge thing about, you know, no one hears about the women and we all hear about the men, but regardless, I'm not going to talk about that right now. But um, um, he, excuse me. Um, yeah, so anyways, she had that. There was this New York art scene that was happening that was like, just seemed so innervating and enervating and there was different materials, but there is now too. We just need to to hook into it. So I'm going to leave you with that. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to the channel so you get the updates. Hop over to the website www.exploring-creativity.com and sign up for the newsletter. 
leave messages there. Let's make this a community. Let's support each other and help each of us get our work out into the world. So I will talk to you soon. Have a good one.